Okay, Ed, we always talk about bore geometry and how it's so important to have the proper clamp load so that you simulate what the engine's actually going to see, what that cylinder is going to see in the engine. Yep. Now, you were showing me something earlier when you were honing these cylinders that was, I thought, a perfect visual example of what's the difference in that bore geometry right. in the free state versus the stressed, it's a stressed straight, straight yeah. right? So why don't you show us what you were sure. demonstrating to me because it was like, wow. Yeah, to see it just happen is just like, yeah, it's, man, that's crazy. It's crazy. So let's let's take a couple of readings here. We're gonna we're gonna go in and, and we'll try to move this dial bore gauge relatively slowly so you can kind of see the needle peak and mm -hmm. we're right there at zero. Right there at zero in the middle. And this is a honed cylinder, so we know that we've been working the best we can to get this thing as straight and as round as possible. As possible. And so we're zero at the bottom. Now we're gonna we're gonna go roughly 90 degrees. We're trying mm -hmm. to keep it to where the camera can see it, honestly. So yep, you can see that we're pretty close to zero there. Zero there, and maybe a tenth tight there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, it, and that's the cylinder in the fixture loaded. In the clamp state. Right. Is what I would okay. call it. So now I'm going to grab a wrench. <laughs> and you're just going to take the pressure off. All, all I'm going to do is, is take the pressure off, which is you can see is really a quarter of a turn. So you can see that we didn't load that. Yeah. So, tight. yeah. <laughs> it's still there. All right. Wait for it. Now we're going to go back in, and we should be pretty close at the top, and we're going to be Whoa, there we go. eight tenths tight now in the middle, uh -huh. and then we get to the bottom, Whoa. and we're a thousandths and three tenths tight. Whoa! But then we turn it ninety degrees, uh huh, and we're zero at the top. We're big now in the middle by a half a thousandths, and. We get at the bottom, and we're big, big by eight tenths. So we go from eight tenths big, one direction, to a thou and two tenths tight, the other direction. So there's two thousandths out of roundness at the bottom of the cylinder on that spigot now, just due to clamp load. clamp load. Yep. So there's your uh, your 101 yes. <laughs> on, on board geometry and why torque plates and clamp load is so important. Yeah, everything. You're right. Well, you, you hear about you know uh, Chuck Lynch, you know, talking one of our previous things, and had a great article he wrote in Engine Professional magazine about hey, when you're putting your torque plates on, you need to use the same gasket you're going to run because it's going to make that difference. Same gasket. Same. Same, you know, thickness, thickness same uh, stud, same, same lube. Yeah. Is it bolts or is it studs you're going right. to run with? All of that stuff plays a factor. Right. And really, when you get into this stuff, this is what really yeah, accentuates yeah. it here. Right, yeah. Now, this so is air cooled stuff. Scenario. Yeah, air cooled, like I said, because of the, the nature of the, the design of that cylinder, right. it's the most challenging. Yes, absolutely. So. Yep. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that little sneak peek, a little 101 yeah. on <laughs> clamp load and board geometry. <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a day. My, yeah, my, brain, my brain is swollen. I've learned so much today. He told us, don't start cars. We are not going to listen.